Happening right now, a 50-year-old woman is in a Santa Clara County jail accused of trying to poison customers at a Starbucks coffee shop. Good morning, I'm Kristen Z. And I'm Cheryl Jennings. An alert customer made all the difference. Employees at the Starbucks on Snell Avenue called police and the fire department. Ramina Bahanian was caught and arrested yesterday. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Marzullo joins us live with the story. Katie. Cheryl, the woman has been booked on attempted murder charges. Police say the bottles of orange juice that she left behind at the Starbucks contained rubbing alcohol, enough in each bottle to kill someone. Customers at Starbucks on Snell Avenue don't hesitate to get a cup of coffee the morning after a woman placed poison orange juice in the display case. Maybe 20 years ago, that surprised me. Today, that doesn't surprise me at all. Police say the suspect, 50-year-old Ramane Bebehanian, brought the tainted juice into the store in a Starbucks bag. She put the juice in the case and then went to buy a cup of coffee. A customer saw what she had done and alerted employees. The suspect overheard that conversation and took off. Employees then called 911. They could not have known just how serious the situation was. According to the fire captain on scene, the quantity of rubbing alcohol inside the bottles was a lethal quantity in both bottles. For that, the woman has been booked on poisoning and attempted murder charges. Police tracked her down quickly because an employee got her license plate number. Our biggest question is, is there a continuing danger to the public? That's the good news in a case that leaves many uneasy. It's extremely scary. I mean, you go to a place every day and you trust it, that what you get is what you ordered, and it's very scary. And to finish the sergeant's thought there, they don't, do not believe there is a continuing threat to the community right now. As for the motive, police say they don't have a clear motive and they're not going to speculate on one. The woman's court date has been set for this Thursday. Also, I talked with corporate Starbucks. They say after the incident yesterday, they pulled all the juice from the shelf at the Snell Avenue uh, location. And out of an abundance of caution, they asked all Starbucks in the Bay Area to check their juice supply. But no other tampering was found. Live in San Jose, Katie Marzullo. ABC 7 News.